either teach your son or daughter um, how to do laundry or um, have them start doing uh, some laundry on their own. Uh, we recommend that folks um, have the conversation now about budget. Um, I, I think it's a good idea for, for students, um, seniors in high school, juniors in high school, to start um, budgeting their own money to have a checking account. The, the bigger ones are uh, talking to, having a conversation, having a family conversation about what their success looks like. What success looks like in, in high school may be a little bit different um, than what success looks like in college. If that's GPA, if that's overall happiness, if that's um, you know playing on a, a sport club team, if it's balancing all of these things that is collegiate life, what does that look like? And having a conversation with your son or daughter about that is very, very important. One of the things we focus on for um, orientation in the summer is talking about what the the absence of a son or daughter will will look like. You know, like having the conversation and sitting down and just simply saying, "Hey, look, Johnny, I, I'm really going to miss you, buddy." You know, like we spend a lot of time together. We do this. We we um, are a family here, and we're, it's not like we're not a family when you go off to school. But what does that look like? What is that going to do to the family? The other thing that we encourage um, parents and and students to talk about is the experiences that they're going to have, the, um, the what education or what higher education might bring up in terms of, um, you know, challenging a worldview or challenging some of the, the notions that they have been um, taught. Uh, I, I really think that's what education is. Sons and daughters will be exposed to many, many educators inside and outside of the classroom. Have the conversation um, that you are not fundamentally changing. You know, your, your sons and daughters will always be your sons and daughters. Life skills are the things that I think trip people up a little bit. Now we have a lot of professional staff and we have a lot of faculty here that will help with some of those things that will ask the appropriate questions. You know, we have resident advisors, we have um, full-time live-in folks that live in our residence halls that are called community directors that are master's level, also educators, um, that can help with some of those things. They can ask those appropriate questions that can, that can help negotiate a roommate conflict or um, other things that are going on in the student's life. We have a tremendous amount of resources. One of the great things about the University of Alabama um, is that we, we are a fairly large institution by comparison but we still have a small school feel. We still have that small, intimate um, setting that I think um, is very important. We have uh, academic support systems. We have um, faculty and staff that are, that are um, geared towards that success, geared towards getting students um, acclimated, getting students engaged. Um, we, we, in Residence Life, we have put a tremendous amount of resources to um, our living learning communities and our freshman living communities to get students out and about and get them engaged and get them out talking and, and making sure, you know, kind of check-ins and making sure they're all right. Students who are going to fall through the cracks or are, are in jeopardy of falling through the cracks need something. They need some attention. They need some um, help in some ways. You know, so we really gear most of our programming, most of our um, uh, freshman programs and things like that around the university to getting students plugged in and getting them um, some of those resources, making them aware of some of those resources. Uh, sometimes, unfortunately, that's a, that's a one-way street. Um, I think if we could figure out how to make sure that every student is successful, we'd be in some business. You know, you and I would be, we'd take it on the road. Mm -hmm. Um, it, I, I, you know, I think gone are the days where you're talking to a dean at, at freshman orientation and he says, look to your left and look to your right, and one of you is not going to be here next year, um, and only one of you is going to graduate in four years. Gone are those days. I think the university has done a very, very good job, and I'm proud of, of the University of Alabama for putting a lot of time and energy and resources into <clears throat> retention and into making sure students are successful and making sure they matriculate through um, the university.